there everyone welcome to what I hope uh, is my first but not last uh, instructional helpful video uh, to try and make your life in simulator a little bit more enjoyable a little bit easier to control uh, in this video we're going to go through uh, downloading installing and getting yourself running with career chief uh, which is a really powerful tool uh, whether you're single screen triple screen uh, especially if you're using VR uh, as you can't see buttons and stuff like this, Crew Chief gives you the ability to uh, click a button, say a command, and Crew Chief will take care of that command for you, be it uh, changing your black box, changing what's going to happen in the pits. You can do it all with the click of a button, no need to have to muddle around and try and find anything. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and click on the alert button for any new releases of the video or any new videos that I put out. Uh, this will be a part one video. Uh, just basically getting you into Crew Chief, getting it up and running, using the voice commands, um, and then in part two, uh, I will go through some of the more complicated settings within Crew Chief that will really get you going. If you do get the opportunity, please check out our sponsor, Blue's Little Prince. Uh, if you can dream it, they can create it. Apparel, mugs, <laughs> as you can see here, I've got a couple. Um, T-shirts, onesies, ornaments, you name it you want it on a print, they can do it for you. Um, let's get our Crew Chief installed, let's get it up and running, and let's get you racing with Crew Chief. Chief, uh, I've included the link in the description below that will bring you to their homepage. Uh, first link is download Crew Chief for PC. Click this link, it will prompt you to download the program or run it directly without download. I recommend downloading it somewhere on your computer. Uh, initiate the install, and once your install is complete, go ahead and launch Crew Chief. Now, as you can see, I've already done the install and I have Crew Chief running. Um, this is a fresh install. I have completely removed Crew Chief uh, from my system, so you can see the walkthrough of how I get everything. See these three green boxes here? What this is, is it's a brand new install, which means it needs to download all of the media files and everything that are required for Crew Chief to do what Crew Chief does. Uh, so simply click on those. Uh, you don't have to wait for each one. You can just click on it and it will start downloading. Depending on the speed of your internet connection, this could take a little while. Um, I have pretty good speed on my internet, so this shouldn't take too long. Once it's done that, yes, Crew Chief is going to want to restart so that it can load all the sound packs into the system for you to utilize. So just simply click OK and allow Crew Chief to relaunch. So now that we've got Crew Chief relaunched, okay, you can see these are now grayed out, nothing happened to them, we have everything. Uh, now these are downloaded, so now if I go to my name, I can go in here and just type Robert and search. And you can see here, it has personalizations for Robert, so I can just click on Robert. And if I want, I can test and see what it sounds like. Bad luck, Robert. So that's Jim. You know, that is my crew chief. Uh, so I can leave it selected as that. So I'm going to select that as my name. Again, this is the cumbersome part. Um, crew chief needs to restart and reload because it needs all of the new audio files for whatever it is that you select. But it reloads fairly quickly, so not a huge hassle. Um, additionally, they have... Uh, different spotter voices that you could choose. There's Billy, there's Clara, there's Florian. Um, everybody has a different speech. Find the one you like and uh, stick with it. Uh, me, I use Claire uh, most of the time just to give that different type of voice. And hey, who doesn't want to hear a girl in their ear when they're racing? I mean, come on. 
Uh, and once again, it's going to want to restart. So we're going to allow Crew Chief to restart. Now, now that we are at this moment, before we do anything else, you're going to need to go over to your game and you're going to need to select iRacing. So now that we have iRacing selected, what we want to do is we want to start Crew Chief so that we can see if we can hear our chief and hear our spotter. They will give you a radio check when you start Crew Chief. Radio check. Spotter, radio check. So there, I heard them both in my ear, both of them doing a radio check. Uh, everything is working. I can hear them. Down at the bottom here, you can see scan for controllers. Now, if this is grayed out for you currently, simply shut down the program and restart it, and it should come up with the prompt to be able to scan for controllers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scan for my controllers. And as you can see, it sees my Thrustmaster steering wheel, sees my keyboard, and it sees my Logitech shifter. Now, fortunately on my wheel, I actually have a button for the radio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my Thrustmaster, and then I'm going to click on Talk to Crew Chief. This now enables the Assign Control or Delete Assignment. Now, I like to just press the button once and then issue my commands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the press and release, and then I'm going to assign a control, at which point it's waiting for me to give input, uh, be it from my keyboard, my steering wheel, button box, whatever you possibly have. For me, it's the radio button on my steering wheel. So we're going to click our radio button, and now that is assigned the radio button for me to communicate with my crew chief. We're done. Um, crew Chief's default settings should have everything set up for me. Now, what I would recommend here is before you actually start your Crew Chief or do anything else, um, now do a shutdown, close down your Crew Chief, relaunch Crew Chief, at which point, you know, now it should have saved your settings, iRacing, Robert, Jim, Claire, Properties, and then what you want to do is you want to start your crew chief. Radio check. Spotter, radio check. So we've got our radio checks from our, our crew chief. Everything is coming through our speakers. Now we want to see if we can communicate with them. The easiest way to do that is you can actually press your radio button and ask them whether or not they can hear you. So we're going to go, we're going to press our radio button. Can you hear me? Okay, Robert, I can hear you. So my crew chief can now hear me. Now, again, Crew Chief has other functionality that you don't even have to be in the simulator to use. So right now, I can ask the, you know, maybe I have a race coming up. I'm sitting at my rig. I'm, I'm puttering around. I can press the button. What time is it? 7.14 p.m. And as you can see, he responds with 7.14 p.m. Now that it looks like that we have everything functioning, uh, our, chief, our chief can hear us. Um, we can communicate with him. He responds to our commands. Let's load into iRacing and let's see some of the functionality that you now have the ability to do with the click of a single button and some voice. Well, we've gone through the initial setup and now we're sitting in iRacing. So what can you do with Crew Chief? Well, right now it's, it's pretty limited because you still need to learn the commands. But some of the big ones that you really want right off the bat um, are, you know, make changes to your pit stop. Uh, you can you, you can find out, change your black boxes all with a click and a command. Now, the first thing you are going to have to do when you come into iRacing, if you've been using iRacing Spotter, is you're going to want to go into your options, go into sound, and you're going to make sure that your enable spotter is checked off. Now, in the instructions, it does say you should turn your spotter volume down. I've never really had an issue with that um, because with the spotter off, there are no spotter calls. So I haven't heard anything else. So I just leave everything as it is. If for some reason I have to enable iRacing spotter, it's set, it's ready, and I can just enable it. So now that we're in here, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the car. So now that I'm in the car, you can see I'm sitting in the car. I'm getting ready to go out on track. What's Crew Chief, Crew Chief going to do for me? Well, the first thing I can do is I can tell Crew Chief I want my black box up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up our lap timing back, black box. So press our button. 
black box lap timing and there you go you can see it automatically brought up my lap timing box <clears throat> has it set in front of me so I can see it now <laughs> obviously I don't race with the, the with it there um, quick little tidbit you know surprisingly a lot of people don't know um, the default control is control is alt K when you're in the car and what that will do is it will bring up all of the different things that you can move around in the car now there is an INI setting uh, I will get into that in another video that you have to do for this to work like this but as you can see I can now move see I've moved my flags they're now underneath my mirror um, I've changed the location of my pit lane speeds my green lights where my voice chat comes up different messages um, you can do all that with an alt K so just for purposes here I have put the box in the middle of the screen so you can see the changes that occur now right to now I'm sitting in the in the box so say I'm on my way in and I'm gonna be coming in for a pit I, I'm coming in for a pit stop so I can actually change my black box on the fly black box fuel so now it brings up my fuel box so I can see where my fuels at and you can see right now there's no begin fueling everything is turned off um, again another INI setting uh, it get into in another video uh, by default I have everything unchecked uh, because of the fact that I use crew chief to enable what I need um, so I'm running around I've got about four laps to go and I'm almost out of fuels um, under normal circumstances you uh, you know you have to have a mouse you have to have maybe you know you have to move your mouse while you're trying to drive maybe you've got to um, you know do something on your button box now all of that is gone because now I can simply tell crew chief what I want to add for fuel and this does work in liters or gallons um, obviously some people like to do everything by gallons I'm Canadian I do everything in liters uh, and especially when I'm running uh, LMP2s and high performance cars where I want that liters because it is a little bit more precise than gallons but I can go here pit stop add 20 liters Understood. 20 liters. so you can see it's now going to add 20 liters to my car the begin fueling is checked and I'm ready to go now if I wanted to change tires black box tires so now if I want to change my tires I'm coming in the pits I'm like oh I, I need to change my tires I can tell him to change my tires pit stop change all tires okay acknowledged and you can see it actually shows you for some reason it only shows three I don't know why it doesn't show all four tires but it does show three um, but in the same instance if you're coming into the pits and you don't want to change tires you can do the exact same command just clear it pit stop clear tires yep okay and you can see it's taken away my tires it, it, they're no longer there I'm not I'm, my tires are not going to change for me I know this it's told me this on the screen as well that it has cleared my changing my tires so now if I go back to fuel black box fuel you know I can do the same thing um, okay maybe it maybe I've gotten a penalty and I want to come into the pits and serve my penalty well if you get service when you have a penalty a lot of times it won't let you serve that penalty so now I can clear my fuel on my way into the pits right even before I actually get into my pit pit stop clear fuel Acknowledged. so now it's not going to fuel my car it's not going to change my tires it's going to allow me to serve my penalty black box relative so now I have my relative screen I can see where everybody is coming up on me um, I know where I am and I can go and I can start get back out there and racing again another thing that uh, you know we do a lot when we're you know we're all in practice and we're trying to get ready to go which is you know a lot of guys do want to know is you know what's the track temperature so you can actually ask your crew chief what's the track temp the track temperature is now 24 Celsius right so now and I'm in Celsius on here so and again it's 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 your own personal preference you can have Celsius you can have Fahrenheit um, whichever you want that can all be set within crew chief so yeah there's just some of the basic commands and how much crew chief can help you out um, 
when you're on on the track and you just need to get things sorted out and you don't have access to put your hand down and move a mouse and, and click things uh, or, or do things last minute you have right up until you get to the pits to make changes to what's going to happen in your pit stop um, there's rivalries there's teammates there's so much you can do and we will get into that uh, in part two I will be looking more at going through uh, the preferences that I set within iRacing or within Crew Chief uh, specifically for my races, uh, how to create a profile, how to set your Celsius and your Fahrenheit. Um, and then, you know, if, if everybody is enjoying them, I'll put out a third video that just gives you a list of the commands and just kind of burns them into your mind that you can utilize while you're running around the track. So I really hope this video has helped you. Um, if you've been leery about using Crew Chief or you've never really gotten Crew Chief to work before, um, give it another try because it's really, really takes away from all of the amount of work that you have to do in the middle of a race without taking your hands off the steering wheel. Okay, so just before I close things out here, um, if you go into the help and you go into the speech uh, voice recognition installing and training um, they do highly recommend that you run the Windows speech recognition um, I personally haven't used it as of yet I do find you have to be a little bit clearer uh, like you have to be pretty clear sometimes as to what you want him to say um, there's been times where I've said you know add 14 liters of fuel and he says oh you want me to add four uh, you know if you take the time to go through the speech recognition for Windows It'll use that, and since Windows goes through the training and learns to understand your voice, you may get better responsiveness from the crew chief when you issue voice commands. So that's going to do it for part one. Um, I realize it was a long process, and uh, but I hope uh, this has helped anybody that's been leery about using crew chief, um, really didn't know how to set it up, didn't realize how quickly they could be running with crew chief. Uh, I will be putting out another video uh, explaining profiles uh, so you can have, you know, crew chief act a certain way when you're on ovals. You can have them act a certain way when you're on uh, road courses. You can have them act a certain way when you're on dirt. Um, there is all kinds of configurations you can do depending on what kind of car you're driving and what kind of track you're driving on. So until then, again, uh, click on that subscribe button. Click on the alert button. You'll be notified when the next video does come out. Uh, be sure to, again, to check in with our sponsor, Blue's Little Prince. So until next time, keep your hands on the wheel, your eyes focused forward, and let your crew chief do the work for you.